I've been having a play with magnetic couplings and the means of un uh, uncoupling them. And that led me on to uh, developing a point motor. And uh, I did so because I thought I might be able to do a little bit better. And this is the beast I've been working towards. The heart of it is these ubiquitous N20 gear motors, you know, the £3.50 uh, gear motors from China. Uh, it can use any voltage uh, as long as they're low RPM, you know, around 30 RPM, something like that. Um, and the only other commercial components are three micro switches and a screw, if you like, and of course, some wire. Um, the rest of this, uh, this prototype is PLA printed. Of course, uh, that's not viable for me. Such a thing would have to uh, be injection molded. Um, now, uh, the principle is very obvious. It's a simple cam uh, with two rows of detents around the edge of the cam whale. The cam itself has one cam follower uh, which slides back and forth in the top housing and that then uh, has uh, a wire actuator. The wire actuator is held solid by a screw there and importantly it drops down and comes back up and then reappears through a slot. And that slot enables it to spring uh, because of course the cam uh, gives you a fixed throw, uh, which is about eight, eight mil, something like that. And this then gives you a gentle spring, which will hold the blade firmly against the stock rail on either side. Uh, and also allow, of course, for different throws because no, no points have an 8mm throw. Uh, they're, they're all less. Now, you can vary the strength of the spring, if you like, by either dropping the bend down lower for a weaker spring. Uh, you can, of course, change for piano wire. This is just nickel silver. Or if you want to tighten it, you can put uh, a sleeve on that which will harden it up uh, so there's a lot of games you can play to to alter the characteristics of the actuating wire electrically it's ever so simple this one's just got a, a one and a half volt double uh, a battery on and a single switch and all this switch does is uh, tell it to change. It doesn't tell it to go left or right, it just tells it to change. And there you go. One like that. And of course, because it's at 180 degrees one way or t'other, uh, it is effectively locked. So there's no way it can drift like a servo drifts for instance. Uh, also of course there is no power uh, being consumed when the thing is off uh, which is also quite nice. So it's only powered up at all uh, when you actuate it. The micro switches, one of them of course uh, uh, detects every 180 degrees so it gives you your throw. That's one micro switch. Another micro switch um, changes the polarity of your frog, your uh, feed to the frog. And the third micro switch uh, will uh, power an LED indicator showing which way the point is thrown. 
So the three micro switches uh, will do all your electrical wants, if you see what I mean. Um, it's, it's such a simple device, if you like, it, it's awfully reliable. Um, that bracket obviously just screws to the underside of the baseboard uh, and that is really all there is to it. Now I've done another prototype as well uh, which is fundamentally the same. The, the switches aren't fitted on that. This has a slight difference to the body here so that uh, uh, if you were to have a, an electrical problem or you wanted to adjust the switch or something you can pull a wire out or a screw or pin or what have you and leave this bit screwed to the baseboard connected to the point and just remove the mechanical side of it and do what you want with that or even replace it. Um, and then when you're happy with it, put it back and then just put the pin back and part A and part B are connected again and uh, and, and Bob's your uncle it's a very very simple device um, not outrageously bulky it's 50 mil top to bottom there and I think it's about 65 mil across there something like that uh, this is PLA uh, printed uh, which is fine for my own personal needs and I should be banging them out obviously it's a recipe for uh, injection molding or, or, or something like that um, so yes that's hopefully all there is to it <laughs>